Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to TRX On Demand. You've got seven days to take this class. I hope you're feeling good. As always with any TRX class, you need to make sure that you have a TRX. If you do not have a TRX, this is a TRX, you're in the wrong place. First things first, make sure it's nice and securely connected either to your wall or onto the back of a door. If you are on a door, make sure that it's, the door is not opening towards you. You want to be on the other side of the door or it will end badly. Trust me, I've been there. Next, we're going to just grab hold of our TRX handbars and just hang back a little bit and start to just gently add some weight onto it. Make sure it's just going to take our weight, okay? Once we're happy there, we can leave it and we're going to start our warm-up. So today we're going to do a four-minute warm-up. I'm just going to adjust my camera here. Then we've got five rounds, all varying in length. The longest one is going to be eight minutes. The shortest one, four minutes. And then we'll have a little four-minute stretch at the end. So, that being said, let's just change the music and start on our mat. We're going to warm up off our TRX. We want feet facing forwards, toes between, or feet between hip and shoulder distance apart. Then take your arms out to the side, nice big stretch, cross them across your body, open back out and then alternate which one comes on top. So we're opening and closing our chest and opening and closing our shoulder blades. So we're getting the muscles on the back ready when we're going to be doing our rows on the TRX, getting our chest nice and warm. We'll be doing chest press, T-fly, you name it. This is going to be a full body 45 minute session. So try and think about squeezing your abdominals and squeezing your glutes here to try and keep your body nice and still. We don't want to be swinging around, okay? We're in control. Big arm circles forwards now. Same thing with those abs and those glutes. Keep them on. And reverse it backwards. Nice, guys. Take your hands out in front of you and just rotate your wrists now. So whatever feels natural, just get them nice and loose. And same with our ankles, one at a time, obviously. So we do a few circles one way, and then a few circles the other way. I imagine this will be very difficult to do them both at the same time. We're now gonna come to the back of our mat and go to a really deep squat, getting our elbows inside our knees. You might wanna turn your toes out, and if you can't get all the way down, you can lift your heels up. So let's go, so we squat down, elbows inside the knees, and then we're just gonna gently rock side to side, opening up those hips. All right, find the center, we're gonna rock forwards, walk out into a high plank. So get your shoulders on top of those wrists, nice straight line, neck to heels. Step the left foot to the outside of the left hand, release the left hand, rotate your chest, look up to the sky, reaching up. Keep that back leg as active as you can. Drop the left elbow inside the left ankle. Enjoy that nice rotation and release back up. Drop the elbow and we go one last time, reaching up. Drop the elbow, place the left hand down, same thing on the right. So right foot to the outside of the right hand. We release that right hand, rotate the torso, look up. Keep that back left leg active, nice and straight. Drop the left elbow inside the right elbow, so inside the right ankle. And again, reach that right hand up and follow it up with your eyes so you're looking up to the hand. Drop the elbow down. One more time, reach. Drop the elbow down, place the hand back down, step back into your high plank. Drop down to your knees and do two push-ups on your knees, nice and easy. Then push back to your child's pose. Just hang out here for a couple of breaths and then rock forwards, two push-ups again. Push back, child's pose. Now we go three push-ups. And child's pose. From here, we're gonna push our bum up into the air and come into a down dog, let's go. So hips high, looking back towards your feet, press those heels down, getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs and pedal out each foot now, one at a time. Walk your hands back towards your feet. We're gonna come all the way up to standing with our head coming up last. Keep your legs as straight as you can. So we wanna fully reset that spine looking straight ahead. We're gonna to come to the front of our mat. We're gonna step backwards into a lunge and lift those hands up, alternating legs. Let's go. And we're just gonna 
Cool the music, you keep going. Stay with it guys, nice big step back. We wanna be getting a nice stretch through that hip flexor on that back leg as we step back. Bring those arms up, getting those shoulders ready to work too. And let's change to a squat, so feet shoulder width apart, hinge at the hips, send the bum back, bend the legs, weight in the heels. Turn the toes out, we do one sumo squat, push your knees out. One regular squat, one sumo squat, so knees out, toes forwards, then toes diagonally out. You've got five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, rest there, shake everything out. This song that is playing now is gonna be your rest song. When you hear it, you will be recovering. So we wanna make sure that our TRX is at the top. If it's hung quite low or hung quite high, we just wanna make sure that these hand bars, not the foot cradle at the bottom, the hand bars are at hip height. Once they're there, we're ready to go. Our first round today is eight minutes long. The first four minutes, we will be doing one minute on each exercise. I'll explain as we go. The first exercise is our TRX low row. We start with our elbows in our waist and our palms facing one another. That's not how we start, I lied. We're gonna start all the way back with straight arms. We're gonna be looking up at our anchor point. We're gonna walk forwards as far as we dare. We keep this straight line, neck to heels. We row up, we row back. We wanna get our elbows behind our back. Okay, we always come in and out with straight arms anytime we're in this position. So get yourself set up, palms facing one another, shoulders relaxed. Hang back, look up at your anchor point. You're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. One minute of low rows. This is a long time. We're gonna go nice and slowly. The further forward your feet are, the more weight you're lifting. If you need a rest, you come back. Things we need to watch out for are breaking at the waistline. So we don't wanna let our bum come down here. We don't wanna let our back arch. We keep our abdominals engaged, our bums squeezed together, our shoulders down. We stay looking up at that anchor point, our palms stay facing. We keep those elbows brushing past our waist. If you need a rest, you wait until you finish, you've got straight arms and then you walk your feet back, shake your arms out, come back in. You've got 20 seconds to go. We're gonna move straight into the second exercise as soon as we hit 60 seconds, which is gonna be a squat on our toes. That's in 10 seconds. You might wanna have a look now. We come into a squat position. We come up onto our toes and we're just gonna come up and down. In three, two, one, let's go. Still holding onto those handbars. We're a bit further forwards now. Keep those heels nice and lifted. Sliding our back down a flat imaginary wall. We stop when our bum is in line with our knees. So our thighs are parallel to the floor at the bottom. We don't go any further. Hopefully feeling a nice burn in the quads already. 20 seconds down. Just over 30 seconds to go. Keep those heels lifted. If it gets too much, shake the legs out and start again, or just place those heels down, take regular squats. 20 seconds left, guys, then we change it to a T fly. Similar position to that starter row. If you don't know what you're doing, have a look at me now. We just don't want to go as far forwards this time with our feet. We're going to open our arms out into a T and then close down. This happens in about five seconds time. So get yourself ready. Again, we're keeping this straight line through our back. Three, two, one, let's go. So you're opening out into a T. Hands stay at shoulder height and then we come back. We don't want to come so far forwards that we just end up standing and resting. So you want to catch yourself and then just gently start to come back. All about the way back, closing down slowly, under control. If we can have a little bend in our arms, that's absolutely fine. They don't need to be perfectly straight. That would be really difficult. But we open out to that T, close down nice and slowly. You're halfway through, you've got 30 seconds left here. And then we go into our final exercise in this four minute stint which is a squat jump. This is in 20 seconds time. So we keep this same grip, palms facing one another. Have a look if you've not done it before. We squat down, bum comes in line with knees. We pull the straps towards us so we can get nice and high off the floor. Okay, in three, two, 
One, let's go, squat jumps. If this is not available to you, you just take a regular squat like this, we're gonna go nice and fast, okay? Or squat jumps, we are landing with bent legs, bum is in line with knees, no further down. If this is hard to go for a minute, to take rest, you're at 20 seconds already, 40 seconds to go. At the end of this, we're gonna go for another four minutes. All these same exercises again, although this time you go at your own speed, you do six of each on repeat for four minutes. So it'll be six low rows, six squats on our toes, six T flies, and six squat jumps. That's in 15 seconds time, maybe stop now if you need a rest. It'll be six low rows to start, so remember, straight line, neck to heels. We look up at that anchor point and keep those elbows in. In three, two, one. All right, guys, let's go. Four minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. Six of everything. So six low rows. Once you've finished your six with straight arms, you're gonna walk back, get into that squat position. So it's bent arms, bent legs, lift the heels. We come up and down six times. Once we've done this, we might want to give our arms a little shake. That's okay, those squats do use them. Then it's six T flies. You don't want to be too far forwards for these, trust me. All about lowering down under control. Don't rush it. Don't catapult yourself up and fall back down. It's all about working against gravity. Once you've done six of these, it's six squat jumps. This will get your heart rate through the roof. You've just gone over the one minute mark, so maybe if you could get four rounds done at this pace, that would be incredible. Maybe threes, maybe it's only going to be two full rounds. Take as many rests as you need to. Remember, on those rows, you do not want to be flinging those hips forward. And if you need to come all the way back, that's fine. And do them with little weight back here, that's okay. Maybe you do one here, you inch your feet forwards, a couple of inches, that's it. See how much that affects the amount of weight that you're lifting. So low rows, toe squats, T fly, jump squats. If you get lost, don't worry, just pick up somewhere along the line. We are coming up to six minutes through this round, so just two minutes left. It is six reps of everything, as many times through as you can. Round one is a bit of a beast. The second round is half the length. It is only gonna be four minutes long. Remember, coming in and out of that row always happens with straight arms. back, biceps should be on fire right about now. We are just about to cross into the final 60 seconds of this eight minute long round. I know it is brutal. Keep going. Even if you're going at snail's pace, that's still amazing. I've stopped. So, there you go. 45 seconds left, guys. Just six of everything. We go to a lovely four minute round next. It's gonna feel dreamy in comparison. And we're gonna work the front of our body instead of the back. 25 seconds left. Remember you had that option not to do the squat jumps, just do regular squats. If you are doing that, try and pick up the pace. You want your heart rate as high as it can be now in this round, and you're gonna have 90 seconds to recover and bring it back down. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, 
two, and here's that rest song, guys. 90 seconds to recover. During that time, you need to make sure you're having a look at me, obviously. If you need more time, you can just press pause. Take a little bit longer, but remember, the longer you are out, the harder it is to start again. We now need to stand right underneath our anchor point and bring our straps down so that they are in mid-calf position. If you do not know how to guess mid-calf position, you want the handbars to be at about your kneecap height, and then the foot cradles are then halfway down your calf muscle. And that's all we're doing to get ready. Two exercises, both upper body, we're gonna do a chest exercise and a shoulder and upper abdominal exercise. So, rather than facing our anchor point like before, we're facing away. We come into our high plank position, which is up on our toes, arms are straight in front of our shoulders. So they're not here, the straps aren't resting on our shoulders, they're not out here, we're in this awful position, we're in a strong box position here. Exercise one is gonna be a chest fly. So just like we did that reverse fly, that T fly opening our arms out, we do the same thing, just facing forwards like this. We open out and come back. Very important not to be too far back here and not to let your hips come like this and arch your back. So start quite far forwards. We're just gonna open out, come back. If that's easy, keep shuffling back. The closer you are to your anchor point, the harder it is. We're gonna go 20 seconds here and we walk forwards and rest. So this is our rest. So we do 20 seconds chest fly, rest, walk back into that plank and we do 20 seconds roll out. This is straight armed forwards. Bringing those hips with us, but not too far. Okay, so like we're on an ab roller on the floor, just roll these arms forwards and come back, okay? Both exercises, we take our hips with us, we don't leave them back behind us like this because we're doing nothing for us. So get yourself into position into this high plank. Chest fly first. You have a little bend in your arms, so you just open out. Don't go too far to start. As you get comfortable, you can go further. We go in three, in two, in one. 20 seconds, that's it. There's no need to rush, 10 seconds down. The further back you are with your feet, the more weight you're pushing. Four, three, two, one, walk forwards. This is where we rest. Next up is roll out. So same position to start, straight arms going forwards. In three, two, let's walk back and off we go. We roll forwards, we roll back just to that plank. Don't let the straps touch your shoulders. Too hard, step forwards. Too easy, step back. So hope you're feeling this working your shoulders and your upper abdominals. You've got three, two, one, walk forwards, rest. That's round one of four. We do it three more times. So chest fly in three, two, one, walk back, and let's go. Those arms out to the side, and back. Try not to let your hips come too far. So your neck to your heels is one piece. It moves together. Cannot break. Think of your body as a surfboard or a piece of wood. Three, two, one, walk forwards. Really, really be careful not to be doing this and not to be doing this. We're going three, two, one, roll out. Straight arms this time in front of you. Oh, nice and slow. Four, three, two, one, walk forwards. I'm a bit tangled up, so I'm just gonna untangle myself. Oops. All right, let's go. Two, one, slice. Second half of the round, let's go. Five. Four, three, two, one, walk forwards. Four. If you want a little stretch, you can open your arms out to the side. It's quite nice. We go three, two, one, roll out. If you're struggling with this straight line in your body, you can have one foot forward, one foot back, both feet on the toes. This is gonna take some weight out and hopefully help you get a bit more used to the movement. Five, four, 
three, two, one, walk forwards. So that's three rounds done. One more to go. Oh, my chest already. Three, two, one, let's go. Chest flies out to the side. Remember, if you want to rest, you know, come forwards, do it out here where it's much easier. 10 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, walk forwards now and recover. Final set of rollouts, then you've got 90 seconds off. In three, two, one, let's go. Roll out. Can you get those biceps up to your ears? That is really tough. Don't worry if you cannot get there. 10 seconds to go. You've got four, three, two, and one. There's that song, recover guys. Leg out of those TRXs. Obviously not when you're mid exercise, but you know that. Next round, we're gonna go back into another eight minute round. Exactly the same setup as we did at the beginning, but with different exercises. So four minutes, one minute on each, and then four minutes, six of each, okay? So we want our straps to be in that same position. If you've got an older TRX or a cheaper TRX, sometimes they can slip down. So just check, you might need to bring them up a little bit. All exercises are down on the ground. First two, we've got our feet in facing the ground. The second two, we've got our ankles in, we're facing up. So I'm gonna show you all of them now and we'll go through them again when we get there. So we want toes in to the first one. We're going elbow pike. So we've got our toes in, we come down to our elbows. We step one leg back, then we step the second leg back. This is our starting position. We tuck our head, lift our hips, come into a pike nice and slowly down. Exercise two, we go atomic push-up. We come up onto our hands, we do one push-up, then we tuck the knees in. One push-up, tuck the knees in. Exercise three, this gets a little bit nicer now. We do cycle crunches, lovely. Heels come in, we cycle side to side. Exercise four, we're gonna do a bridge. We come up and then we bring our heels in and out for hamstring curls, okay? This is gonna be a disgusting, Eight minutes, don't worry, I'm gonna talk you through everything. So, let's get in for that elbow pike. One minute on, you want both toes in the loops. All right? If you know what you're doing, we're gonna start in three, two, one. If not, don't worry, I'm coming back. Now, you want both toes in, you're gonna extend one leg, then the second leg, you're on your elbows. We're in an elbow pike. Then you tuck your head, lift your hips, look at your feet, come down nice and slowly. Don't worry about how high you go. You're probably going higher than you think. This is not a headstand. Do not put your head on the ground. The only points on the ground are your hands and your elbows. When you need a rest, bend your legs. Come up onto your hands. Already 30 seconds through, then we go back in. Do you just love TRX? Oh, I can only manage about three or four of those before resting. 15 seconds, then we go atomic push up. We step it up a notch. <laughs> Take as many rests as you want, guys. Okay, atomic push ups in four, three, two, one. We're on our hands now, not our elbows. We extend one leg, we extend the other. We do a knee tuck, both knees bend in here. As they come out, we do a push-up. If you can't do the push-up, just do the knee tuck, that's fine. Take as many rests as you need. Ooh. 40 seconds left. Doesn't matter if your push-up is going down half a centimeter and back up, that is still amazing. That knee tuck should be a lot easier. Bring both knees together at the same time underneath your hips. You can lift up your hips a bit to allow the knees to come in. 20 seconds left, you'll notice I've just stopped immediately. 15 seconds. I need my here, some air to be able to talk to you guys. 10 seconds until we go into our cycle crunches. So come out of whatever you're doing, turn around. We won't be holding on to our foot cradles here. We roll back, 
and we're gonna put our heels into the foot cradles. So the balls of our feet are pressing into the handbars. We cycle crunch. Our lower back is pressed into the mat. Our knees come in one at a time. We shoot the other leg forward. We're rotating from the rib cage in our upper body. Lower body and upper body are moving independently from one another. We're aiming to get our elbow across to our other knee. If we can, we want to aim to go a bit further than that. Really get those obliques working. 25 seconds until you can rest. You can take a quick rest by hugging your knees into your chest and going again. 15 seconds, then we're going to go to that hamstring curl where we start with straight legs. Our lower back is pressed into the mat at the beginning. That's impossible. Everybody rest, get yourself into this position. Straight legs. Legs are at the same height as well. Hands are pressed down into the floor. Keep your head and shoulders on the floor. Lift your bottom up now and then bring your knees above your hips and extend. Keep your hips nice and high. This is hard. <laughs> you need a rest, you just drop your bum down, shake out your legs and go again. Remember, head and shoulders stay on the ground. If you wanna make it harder, lift those hands up above your shoulders. Guys, you've got just over 20 seconds left here, and then we're gonna change this into our AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. I did say we'd do six, but I think I'm gonna change it. We'll do four of everything. So it'll be four elbow pikes, four atomic push-ups, four cycle crunches, so go each side four times, so eight in total, four hamstring curls. Let's change it up now. You're four minutes through this eight minute round. It's gonna be four elbow pikes. And you might be pleased to work out that when you're changing your foot position, you can waste loads of time. It's a wonderful tactic. All of my students do it all the time. Okay. Not all of them, I found them out. Some do, some do. So just four pikes. Just make sure you're tucking your head and you're looking at your feet as your bum comes up. That is four atomic push-up or just the knee tucks if you prefer. And then you turn around and it's four Bicycle crunches on each side. So eight in total. Why did I put this round in? It's so hard. After your bicycle crunches, it's four hamstring curls. Remember, you lift that bum up, head and shoulders stay on the ground. You have the option of lifting these hands up palms facing one another. Try and keep those hips high as you extend those legs back out. And a lovely rest position at the end is hugging your knees into your chest and crying, lounging. Right. That's five minutes 30, you're one minute 30 through this four minute finisher. Then you're gonna get 90 seconds off. So refresher is elbow pikes, atomic push-ups, nasty business, cycle crunches, that's your nice little bit of recovery almost in comparison, hamstring curls. All right, lovelies, you are halfway through. You've got two minutes left. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're still with me, I am just immediately ended this recording. Elbow pikes, atomic push-ups, amazing bicycle crunches and hamstring curls. So if you haven't worked it out yet, the elbow pikes are working your lower abdominals mainly. You get a little bit of shoulder work there. The atomic push-ups is working lower abdominals again, chest and shoulders. Cycle crunches are working your obliques and the hamstring curls, you get that, are working your hamstrings. So our quads are getting a bit of a break here. So you've got one minute 20. Don't worry, we're bringing them back. We're bringing them back. We've got a lovely four minute round coming up after this. Back into that Tabata timing. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You've got just 60 seconds left here, guys. 
I understand if you're taking lots of rest this afternoon, you find this is an incredibly difficult round. So this is elbow pike. Make sure you're tucking your head as your bum comes up, and then you're looking between your hands back into that regular elbow plank at the end. So your head sort of follows your back, it stays connected. Your spine stays in one line the whole time, that is the idea. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds guys, you've got this, you're doing a wonderful job, I assume obviously I can't see you because I'm recording this before you've done it. If I was watching it, I know I'd be very proud. Ten seconds, come on. Don't cry yet. You've got a five, four, three, two, and you are done. <laughs> you might want to hug your knees into your chest, you might want to have a child's pose, you might want to have some water, wipe yourself down, get all that sweat off, get up and get ready to go for that next round. Um, I lied about it being the Tabata round, I read my board wrong. This is actually a four minute round where we're gonna do 10 out of 10. If you haven't done that before, that means we're gonna do two exercises. You'll do nine exercises of exercise one, and you'll do one of exercise two, so nine plus one equals 10. The second time you will do eight of exercise one, two of exercise two, that's up to 10. It's seven and three, six and four, five and five, four and six, three and seven, two, and eight, one and nine. Got it? Take one off exercise one, and add it to exercise two. So, two exercises for you, they look like this. We're back into this high plank position. This time we're gonna bend our arms. We're gonna do a chest press here. So there's a push up on a TRS from the front, it looks like this. Get those elbows behind us and here. It's not a little baby thing here, it's big arms out nice and wide there. And again, not leaving the hips, not overextending the hips. Find that lovely middle ground to take the woozy. Okay, we're gonna do nine chest press. You're gonna step forwards, you're gonna put your right foot into both foot cradles. You're gonna do one lunge here. You're then gonna put it onto the left. You're gonna do one lunge here. So you can hold on to something if you need to. If you've never done this and you're not getting it at all, you can just take your foot out, just do a reverse lunge here, reverse lunge here. So we're doing one on each leg. Next time we'll do two on each leg. Got it? So chest press, get yourself into position, your rest is over, so what are you gonna, are you gonna do? We're gonna go in three, in two, in one, it is chest press. So take those arms out wide, take those hips with you, bend the elbows, we're just doing a push up, but we are suspended. We're going for nine reps, no rush. We're not gonna get to the end of this in four minutes, but we're gonna see how far we can get. Once you've done your nine, you walk forwards to come out. So we learned that earlier. We pass the straps behind us, we hold onto both foot cradles together as one unit. Not one, both together. We pop our right toe in, we start upright. Knees are together, we just do a lunge, but the back leg cannot touch the floor. We bend both legs, and we come up nice and slow. We do the same thing on the other side. You may find you balance much better on one side. Once we're done, we come back to the beginning. This time it's eight chest press and two lunges on each side. Pull, a lot of chest press today. Keeping that straight line, remember we can come further forwards to make this a lot easier. There's much less weight the further away we are from that anchor point. Once you've done your eight, it's going to be two suspended lunges on each side. Remember the straps are together, they go onto one foot. We, every rep we want to bring those knees together at the end. And what we may find is 
especially if we're not used to doing this movement, we might want to lean really far forward and just straighten that back leg. Try and take your chest back with you and bend that back leg. You want to be coming down. If you're one of my pros doing this, you can add to the hop. So you can bend that leg now. We can just jump up, jump and hop. Okay, up to you if you want to add that in. Please only do that if you have done it before. So your third round is seven chest press, three lunges on each leg. Your fourth round will be six chest press, four lunges each leg. So you've got less than 90 seconds left here. Then we're going to go into our final round. We're nearly done. This is the end of round four, guys, out of five. Oh, hope you're enjoying yourself. 60 seconds. So no rush, remember, we're not rushing through this. We're not gonna get to the end, so let's not even try. Just focusing on that form, that chest press, keeping that straight line next to your heels, it cannot break. Those arms go as wide as possible, then they bend and your elbows get behind your body. 40 seconds. And we will be bringing our straps back up to the top for our final round. Four minutes at speed. Yeah, we're gonna get those heart rates up nice and high in the final 40, 40, four minutes. Guys, you've got just 15 seconds left here. Try and stay strong. Even if you're about to start a new exercise, just start it. it doesn't matter if you only do one rep, that's okay. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Recover, get those legs out, bring the straps up to the top. When I say top, it's kind of different for everybody because they're all hung at different heights. So just stand next to it and make sure your hands bar is at about hip height. So now we go into that Tabata timing that I lied about before. It's coming. So just 20 seconds of work on each exercise. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, guys. It's hardly anything. So earlier we did a low row, which the low was referring to our elbows. Our elbows were low. So down here, nice and low. We're now going to turn our palms to face the ground. We lift our elbows up for a high row. Okay. So we do 20 seconds high row, same rules apply. None of this, none of this. Okay, no flinging of the hips. So from the front, it looks like this. Nice high elbows. Then we have 10 seconds rest. We're going to come into a lunge position. <laughs> okay, this is a lunge position. Look, knees on top of the ankle, not here. Okay, so the chest nice and proud. And we hop. Tiny hops. Bad ankles, bad knees. Take out the hop and you're just going to come up static lunges. The next time round we change the legs. So just alternating high rows, lunge hops. We're going in 15 seconds time to get your head in the zone. So the same we do there. Just four minutes of work. Then we'll have a lovely stretch. We use a TRX a little bit for our stretch. You're gonna love it. Everything's fine. Get yourself into position. So palms facing down. You want to be at the back with straight arms. Then you walk in. So we're gonna go in three, in two, in one. So palms are down, elbows are high. We come all the way back to fully straight arms. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your glutes. 10 seconds left. Four, three, two, walk back from straight arms. Shake the arms out if you need. Left foot forwards, right leg back. On the toe of the right foot, we come down to a lunge now. And let's go, 20 seconds, little hops. Front knee is on top of the ankle, not on top of that front toe. We're not leaning forward. We're pulling the straps back as we jump up. Biceps burning. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Woo! Heart rate's up. Three more times. High rows in five seconds. Palms facing down. We start straight arms. We walk in now and off we go. 
Try not to fling those hips forward. If you need a rest, you just bring your feet back a little bit and work at that slightly easier weight or come all the way out. So you've got five, four, three, two, one. Walk back and rest, guys. Shake out those arms if you need to. Next up is lunge hops with your right leg forward. In three, two, one, we come down and let's go. Tiny hops. Remember, you can just take full lunges here, just static lunge. We're not moving forward to backwards, just up and down, or we're bouncing. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Rest, you still out of breath. Oh, good job, this is the last one, guys. You've got two minutes left, both sides one more time. So high rows again, In three, two, one, go. Just 20 seconds, short bursts. Here we squeeze our abs, we squeeze our glutes, we keep our elbows as high as we can. Four, three, two, one, done. We only have to do that one more time. We're gonna do lunges with that left leg forward, right leg back. Three, two, one, go. Pick a pace, stick to it. Focus on your breath, keep moving. If you can push through that pain barrier, you will get stronger. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Last time, guys, 20 seconds on each exercise and you are done. Come on, high rows in three, two, one, palms down, elbows up, let's go. Can you challenge yourself? Can you walk forwards half a step? What happens? You can still do it, try and stay there. If you notice your hips coming forwards, the weight is too much, come back. Last three, two and one, done. Walk back, that is the upper body pretty much finished. You now have lunges, that right leg forwards, that left leg back in three, two, one, Go, a little lunge hop, start 20 seconds of work. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done, guys. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to do whatever you like, and we're gonna start a stretch. We will be starting our stretch with our TRX at this same height, so don't bring it down. Well done, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed the little parts that I did do. Yeah, I didn't do it all, but can't, can't be good at everything. Joking, I should, I mean, I should be good at TRX, never mind. All right, guys, we're gonna start with an upper body stretch using the TRX, it's gonna be real nice. We're gonna turn around and open our arms out to the side. So we're facing away from our TRX, palms face forwards, we're just gonna gently walk forwards until we feel a stretch across our chest. Do not run forwards and rip your arms out of the sockets. So we just keep easing forwards and getting slightly deeper into that stretch. It feels amazing, in my opinion. Do whatever you want with your feet. They can be together, run forward, run back, it doesn't matter. We now step one foot back, doesn't matter which. So we've got a bent leg at the front, straight leg at the back. This gives us some slack to reach these straps around behind us, touch our hands, and then bring them back overhead nice and slowly until the hands touch at the top. So go in your own pace, just opening and closing. Getting all around that shoulder, that chest. When your hands are next together at the top, keep them there. Then you're gonna step your back foot up to meet your front foot. So we're standing up right now, reach high. We're trying to stretch our abs. If you're not getting it, walk forwards. We're trying to let the TRX just pull our body up like we're getting stretched. And take a step backwards to come out, turn around, we go back stretch. The palms face down, feet are about mat distance apart and we hang back. Bend the legs, tuck the pelvis. So we've curved the lowest part of our spine, tuck your chin into your chest, and just hang back here. So we're trying to round our back as much as possible.
When you've had enough, you're gonna walk your feet back first, straighten your legs, and your head is gonna come up last. Let's all walk back now. Head comes up last, and we can release. That's here, all right. Now we're gonna pick up one foot for a quad stretch, the knees together. Just kicking down into that hand as you pull it up, pulling that leg up. And if you want a bit more, you can try and tuck your pelvis underneath. So, no, that way, I can't balance. And switch sides. Kicking down, pulling up, and then tucking that pelvis underneath. So hopefully you get a little bit more out of this stretch. Well done guys, release, shake that leg out. We'll go for a hamstring stretch now. So we're gonna send one leg forward, so on the heel of that leg. We bend that back leg, sending the bum back, and we place the hand onto that bent leg, or we can reach down and grab the foot in front of us, or maybe if we've got the flexibility, frame the foot on the floor. Hold it there. And change to the other leg. Release, guys. Final stretch. We're going to take, it's not a final plus, but we're going to take our legs nice and wide, toes facing forward. Hands are going to come onto our, hin our hips. We're going to hinge at the hips, come down through a flat back, so opening up those inner thighs if you can. Maybe you can pop your hands onto the floor. If not, hands and hips is absolutely fine. If your hands are on the floor, maybe you can walk your hands back towards the back of your heels. Everybody bring those hands back onto your hips. We're gonna come up through a flat back. So how we came in, heel toe, our feet together. Our last stretch now is for our glutes. We can do this standing if you want like this and hinge, or we can hold on to something. So one ankle comes onto the knee, send our bums back and we bend down and enjoy that lovely stretch through our glutes. If you prefer, you can do this lying down, of course. Change sides. Feels so good. Hold it for three, two, and one, guys. Well done. You have finished. You have completed TRX today. Well done. Very proud, hope you enjoyed yourself. Of course, I will be here every week for your TRX On Demand. And when the new studio refurbishment is finished, I will be traveling back to London to teach the occasional TRX class in person, live with you guys, and that would be great to see you all again. Hope you're having a wonderful day. See you all soon.